and uh, welcome to the Gluten Free Kitchen. And today, I mean, I miss kebabs, and there's a lot of cross contamination when you go to certain places. Um, so today it's a nice simple dish. Um, it, all it involves is, is a pork fillet. Now the seasoning, you can use Moroccan spice, always check to see if it's gluten free. This is the uh, pepper and garlic steak seasoning. I've tried it with the Moroccan spice, I've made my own seasoning which, you know what I mean, you just herbs and spices. Now in this dish you're going to need obviously like I said a pork fillet. You don't have to buy it from Tesco, <laughs> there's other shops what, uh, what sell it. Be free, gluten free pita breads, beautiful. My sister's just gone gluten free and she hates these and I says are you toasting them? She goes no. She didn't see that touch me. So that's going to be a pitcher. I'm also going to use a bit of wild rocket. So uh, first what we're going to do is, oh we've got some uh, red onions as well. You can add cabbage, you can add whatever you want really but this is just a, because I know a lot of people are like oh I really fancy kebab. So let's get going. So first of all we're going to chop this up. So as you can see I've got the pork fillet out and you'll understand why when I say use a pork fillet. It's nice and tender, it's quite low in fat and um, it's easy to chop into medallions which I will do now. So what I've done is I've chopped it into these style medallions, that's why I tend to use the fillet of pork, it's quite easy to chop in this. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to put it in a bowl. I'll put it all in a bowl and show you the next step. So the next step would be to pour some uh, olive oil into the uh, mixture. A splash of olive oil and people are going to go, wait that's so much olive oil. You really want your seasoning to stick. So we're just going to mix that up. The reason why I've got the gloves on is because I'm a mechanic by trade. As you can imagine my hands aren't the most. So we're going to mix that up. Now it's time to add the seasoning. With the seasoning, we're just going to ruffle it round. Just making sure it goes on evenly. going to do is we're going to leave this to sit for about half an hour just to really get it to stick and marinate it you can put it in the fridge if you want you can leave it outside it's a nice cool day so there's no flies or anything in the house what's going to contaminate the meat um, next thing you're going to need to do after that is get some skewers past got my skewers so we're going to skewer it up when you're skewering, just be careful that you don't stab yourself in the hand because that can be a bit of a pain in the backside and it can hurt. So we're going to skewer this up and then we're going to get the oven to about 200 degrees, 180 to 200 around that, depending on if it's a fan or a gas. If it's a gas, you want it a bit higher. So we've preheated the oven now and we're just going to skewer up. Now the kebabs are all skewered up. Like I said, you can use different flavourings. Um, this, what I'm going to do with this is, I've got some tzatziki dip. So we're going to have like a pork pita kebab with tzatziki, wild rocket, and fine sliced red onion. Now, the next bit involves getting a like an oven dish, should we say? And you'll see why in one moment. Now, what I've done is, uh, I've got a oven dish which fits these sticks along these skewers along and I've lined it in tin foil and this is a, a big note to men out there if you're cooking this the fat what's on it will drip into the bottom leave it set throw the tin foil away easier cleaning the dish women are like yeah we know this so as you can see already the olive oil is falling off now this pork believe me I've done this this so many times with different flavorings and it's it's really really healthy for you and really nice because it's quite lean meat 
this uh, pork fillet and uh, there's not really much bad in it I suppose so we put it in the oven for 30 minutes at around between 180 to 200 depending on your oven so now I've took it out of the oven I've also finally chopped me red onion and I've washed my wild rocket now what we're going to do is, as you can see my, my little trick with the tin foil works, um, we're going to take these out, take these off and we're going to cut it like a kebab. So you know when you go to the takeaways and they've got the kebab spinning round and they just cut it with a knife. As you can see we're just going to cut this like so. So if you do it on its side like that. Keep spinning it and cutting it. Remember to be careful not to chop your fingers off. So you want it in little, little bits like this. Tastes absolutely fabulous. So we'll cut both kebabs up. Toast your pitta. This is a bit too big, I've got to flip it round halfway. Cut our pitter open and now we're going to apply the filling with some tzatziki and also I've got some of this. Some chilli sauce, some really hot chilli sauce. So remember, we'll apply the filling, apply the tzatziki and we'll see what it looks like. It's looking kind of good. Very tasty. As you can see, we have one gluten free pork kebab with wild rocket, fine sliced red onion, tzatziki and chilli and I can honestly say this will be absolutely out of this world. Thanks for watching, it's my first video so like and subscribe and also if you can tell me in the comments what else you'd want me to make, anything specific that you would like, whether it be KFC or something like that. Please, please, please drop a comment and we will make it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the first video and uh, my skills will get better and my presenting skills will get a lot better. So thank you very much.